Do you recommend Mac or Windows ecosystem? It's not about recommendation. It is about what you need. If you ask me what I have here, let me see if I can actually share my iPhone with you guys. This is working. It is. Look at this. Now you see behind the scenes. There's one, two, three, four, five displays. Two of them are 5K Apple Studio displays, right? All running on a MacBook M1, a laptop, right? MacBook. So now tell me one Windows machine who can handle all these five displays at once, being so quiet at the same time and already two years old. I still have a Windows machine for gaming. That's one of my hobbies. I like gaming, but I'm a PC gamer. So I just rebuilt the Windows machine as well. So I'm not only gaming, I'm learning, programming, developing To I keep learning. I just love learning new things. And that's why I'm on Windows and therefore Windows works much better for this use case. And that's what you need to realize what you need it for. In fact, we have an Inner Circle member who is part of the January cohort. So if you're interested in switching from Windows to Mac, he had the same question. He said he has six Windows machines in his house running. And if he should add a MacBook to the stack, because he also has an iPhone and an iPad. There's a reason, obviously, that he has six Windows machines. And that's what we will do exactly in a January cohort. We will lay out exactly his uh, business use case and why he's using these tools or these uh, systems and then optimize it to the maximum. Obviously, there are advantages on Mac when it comes to productivity. As one example was as well, when I launched the Payless Movement in 2018, the videos were about the iPad, right? I had no MacBook back then and I started editing the videos. I was already video editing for years on Windows machines using Adobe Premiere. And then I bought an old MacBook Air 2016 and I installed Final Cut Pro, which is the video editing software on Mac. And I was blown away by this old machine Everything was so smooth and there was no stuttering and nothing. And I thought I have a high-end Windows machine sitting there with a very expensive video editing software that I'm paying monthly. Everything runs better on this MacBook. That was the moment I was hooked, all right? I got the MacBook and then you was inside the Apple ecosystem. So the moment you realize that when you copy something, some text or an image on your iPhone, it's already available on your MacBook and things like that. That's something I keep missing when I sit on the Windows machine and then I cannot quickly move things around. But these are my personal workflows. It might be not useful for you. So that's, again, that we teach in iCore that we really use what you need. Yeah, Freddy says, wow, you have so many screens. Yeah, because that's a new streaming setup and I wanted to have the setup really in a way that's because I'm get a new capturing card where I finally can have 4K resolution and 50 frames per second recording on my MacBook and streaming. And that is a dream coming true. And I need these screens, but also for work. I at least two screens. I hate it to work on one screen. I need to have context and action, right? Information and action. So if I'm doing anything here, I need to have a separate screen where I can keep the focus. And that's where I live with without any other because the MacBook I only have now, I would just get the Mac mini M4. If I wouldn't have anything, I would get this and then running the two Apple displays there. However, I got the MacBook as I was traveling a lot in the past. And that is a no brainer because battery life, so many things that I loved about these MacBook. And now it's still running there. So that's the reason why I have them. And well, again, you saw the iPad as well. So that's connected to the Mac. And in fact, this allows me now, this allows me now to, let's see if this works. See, now we can even, I can quickly, simply here, even my Apple Pencil, and I can show you everything is already up to date. So you guys, much more is coming very soon. So stay tuned for sure. Everything is ready. I never was so ready for 2025 than I am now.